Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll learn how to generate fake data using faker.js. So this is a library which we're going to use and you can see there are a lot of methods. For example, to get the zip code, you need to go to address object and there is a property zip code which will give you the zip code. For name, this is the method which you're supposed to use. And this is for the email. Let's go through the docs to learn more about it. And we need CDN link of this library first. So type CDN JS here. And here I will type faker.js. Great. I just copy this. Go to HTML file. Here we need basic structure. And at the bottom add the script tag. And this will be the source. We also need to add a script file, which is script.js. And we also need to add a style sheet, which is style.css. Now we need one div element, couple of input elements. So it will be name. This folder will be enter name. Now just copy and paste it. So let's make it email, same goes here. Let's make it city. It will be zip code. And it will be country. Now we need one button here, it will be generate, save it, go to style sheet, select div element, display will be flex, flex direction will be column, align items will be center, select input element and the button, display will be inline block. Padding will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel. Margin top will be around 15 pixels. Width will be 25%. I just save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Now let's try to understand how to actually work. As you can see, we're having a couple of fields here. And with the help of faker.js, I want to populate these fields on the click of this generate button. So let's go to JavaScript file. Select the button element. Add event listener to it, which is click. The, the handler function. Now in faker.js, there is a method helpers.createCard. Let me show it to you. So this is the method which we are going to use. Faker.helpers.createCard. It will give us the basic info such as name, email, address, country, zip code. Let me show how it will actually look. So let's make it info. So it will be faker.helpers dot create card it will basically return object with all those details let me console lock this save it go to browser open the console window now when you will click you'll get this object and you can see we're getting name username email address phone website so we're getting all this info using this method create card okay so let's populate these fields now i'm going to use object destructuring here to pull the data so we need name email and the address here i will use nested destructuring to get the city country and zip code Well, 
I'll make use of document dot query selector select elements by ID one by one so first of all we need name and the value will be equal to this name variable now just copy and paste it make it email same goes here make it city make it zip code make it country now save it go to browser click and this is the output no matter how many times you will click it will keep on generating the data you can see so that's it i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day